Hi everyone. In this video I am going to discuss the most practical way of difference between HTML and XHTML. To understand the concept, I have prepared one HTML which is not XHTML and we are going to convert this HTML into XHTML so you get the idea about how the HTML and XHTML differs. Though the code which I have written right now is also not HTML, it is a very bad bad way of writing the HTML. But I just want to prove that XHTML is a strict and a better way of writing HTML. Right now the page which you see starts with straight away the HTML, it has the body, it does have a paragraph but as you see that the H1 doesn't have any end of it. The next thing is the H2 which I have placed here is not in small case, it is in upper case. The H is in upper case. Also with H3 I have written the style but you see that the style is also in upper case and the color which I do not put in any kind of quotes be it double quotes or single quotes. So this is not the right way or you can say that you do not see this kind of HTML generally. But the best part of HTML is which is in a way worse part there is no error coming anywhere. If I just run the particular page you will see the output as it is desired. Let me just open the browser and just refresh the screen and you see that this is how it looks. So now you see that we have this paragraph the header which doesn't have any end but because somehow it found the structure and it continued with header 2. The br tag is also there which adds a line and then we have the h3. So what my point here is that HTML does not give any error but at the same time as a developer people or the developers community follow some rules to write the HTML to make it standard and that strict way that standard way is called as XHTML. So let's say if I want to convert this page into XHTML the very first thing I'll take care of is that I'll write the doc type. Now the next thing is you always should have an end of every tag. So this h1 should always have an end tag that's a right structure. In fact even in HTML let's say there is some structure which is getting disturbed even in HTML the output may not be as desired but it will not give error even in XHTML. It's not that once you follow the XHTML rules it is going to give you any error. It doesn't give any error. It is a kind of standard which programmers follow to write the code right because it's always good to follow some standards. Many programmers are working on the same code or even you yourself when you open your program after few days you may not get the idea what is written and what is written where. So you generally follow standards and rules so that the code is easy to debug or the code is easy to maintain. And that's what XHTML does. You have to follow those rules then it is called as XHTML though there are sites which give you that it is XHTML standard followed or not kind of validation. Now I have the end tag of this H1 so now I can say that I'm following XHTML at least for this one. For this line when I say that I want to follow XHTML I will convert the capital letter into small that is uppercase tags are not something which you put when you write or when you follow the XHTML standard. Now you have observed that even H was capital earlier it was not giving error but it's just that I am following the rule of XHTML that I will not use upper cases while there are HTML or CSS related tags or rules. Here also the same thing I will do attributes should also be in lower case right. Then the attribute values should always be in double quotes. This is also another XHTML rule. Earlier this all was working fine there was no issue. So don't judge that XHTML is something which will make sure that there will be an error if rules are not followed. There is no error you saw in the beginning that without these things also it was working fine. It's just that as a developer you take it seriously that you follow standard while writing the code. The same way what another thing can be done is see this H3 tag has some content in between. So when there is a content in between I am going to have an end of the tag but what about this BR the break tag it doesn't have any content in between that means it is an empty tag even if you have an empty tag 
that should also have an end how do you end that i will just self close it or self end it this is how i am going to end even the empty tag let's say in case if you have an input tag for example i write input type is equal to let's say text see this now i put everything in double quotes the attribute and attribute values attribute is in lower case and attribute value is in double quotes now this does not have any content in between so it's a kind of empty tag i am going to end it like this so this is another xhtml rule which i am following here so like br you also have another hr which is an empty tag so that should also have an end like this as i mentioned if you don't write like this let's say i don't write this ending slash is it going to give me error or will it not work no the hr will certainly display the horizontal rule that is the line but the thing is because you are following the standard you will follow all xhtml rules and that is the difference between xhtml and html let me list out the differences once again if you want to know more unique concepts about web development about html css javascript or react you can certainly give comments we will guide you through our videos thank you